on five major changes to the BP settlement bill. It's headed to a conference committee, but it doesn't include any money for the Gulf Coast. News 5's Emily DeVoe is in Montgomery to explain what happened. Late this afternoon, the senators voted to strip the bill of the portion that would have sent money back to the Gulf Coast. The new version sends $300 million to Medicaid, $320 million to paying off debt, and zero dollars for the road projects in our area. Most senators believe the coast has already received its fair share of BP money through other settlements. But Mobile Senator Bill Hightower says this decision absolutely changes his relationship with his colleagues moving forward. From time to time, legislators in other parts of the state come forth and ask us to have empathy, like a, a school that's torn down or a tornado-ridden city. And uh, this tells me that uh, my approach is going to be different. I think the Southern delegation approach will be different in this regard. We thought we were all in this together. From tonight I see that's not the case because they want to take everything of the BP settlement without recognizing us at all. So from here the bill goes to a conference committee. That's made up of members of both the House and the Senate and they're going to work to find a compromise. Mobile Senator Rusty Glover hopes that maybe in that committee they might be able to restore some of the road money but is not very optimistic that we'll ever see that $191 million. We'll be back tomorrow morning. For now in Montgomery, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Thank you, Emily.